What is up everybody? This is John Stocky for episode three of the Stocky Exchange. A lot of people don't like it when you do three like this. Three. Do you do three like this? Or do you do th I can't do it if it just doesn't flick. So three like this or three like this. Episode three. Uh, we're going to answer your marketing questions today. A couple of you guys left some questions on Facebook and YouTube. Thanks so much for that. We're going to get to those uh, in this episode and in some more episodes. Uh, so we'll get right into it, keep these short. Uh, can you provide some more insights into the advantages of having a social media strategy and having someone manage your social media presence? So thanks for those questions, awesome. Uh, so the first thing in social media strategy is you gotta have one. Like you can't just go out there and blah, 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 content, blah, 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 content. Like you have to create conversations with people and have a reason for them to get engaged. You know, it's gotta be fun, exciting, interesting content. And that content needs to reflect your overall marketing strategy. If you're marketing something completely different in other channels, uh, and then you're just trying to promote something via social media, you're not really supporting your whole overall mission. Now, do I agree that segmenting by um, putting different marketing messages into different markets to test uh, how they work and how they function, that's great. Facebook dark posts do that fantastic for you, but that's more of advertising rather than social media strategy. So that's social media advertising, not just the content distribution through social media. Um, so I think having a strategy needs to be in place and it needs to be a cohesive with your overall marketing strategy to really help promote and distribute the content that you're trying to distribute through all of your channels. Um, the digital side of it in social media means you can track it. You know, you create custom URLs and links and landing pages and you have the digital technology with analytics to track to see if what you're doing is working. Um, benefits of having someone manage your social media presence. Uh, now, I think it really depends on your business. You know, if you're selling, uh, you know, I don't know, you're selling highlighters. Um, yeah, you can probably hire a company to, uh, you know, make fun of what, however you want to sell highlighters. You want to be the craziest, wildest highlighter in the world? Boom, hire an agency to do that or hire a consultant to come in and really learn about your product and come up with a creative strategy on how to sell highlighters. But if you are, you know, a mom and pop shop, um, you know, that, that sells like the best breakfast food and you are the one and only person there for the last 40 years and you want to start getting a social media and like the only reason that people know about you is because you are yourself. Like you're the chef, you're the person shaking hands. Like I think you need to really talk and deal with either a consultant or someone to manage it about how the persona of that social media is going to be, um, you know, really put in. I've seen a lot of different marketing channels and social media accounts go both ways. You know, I've seen them fail when business owners try to do them themselves, but I've seen them really succeed. Now, you as a business owner need to realize the time investment and the commitment that it takes to do it all yourself. If you don't feel like that's your strong suit or it's something you would really be good at and something you want to dedicate a lot of your time for, outsource it. Get rid of it. Get it off your plate oversee it, manage it, uh, and manage that person, but trying to come up with content and develop and share and comment and like, it is a big time commitment and for certain people it pays off, for certain people they're just not good at it. So I say focus on your strengths and outsource the other things to someone else who's better suited for managing that. Uh, thanks for listening. If you guys have any other questions on marketing, please leave them in the comments below. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Uh, check me out on Facebook and Twitter, but please leave me some questions. Uh, and I'll try to get them answered for you. Thanks, guys.